Hello guys, welcome to another blog in my channel. So on this particular blog I'll be talking about the various different kind of automatic gearboxes are which are available in Indian market or even in anywhere in the world. Or basically the different technologies of gearbox. Uh, automatic gearboxes which are available, right? So automatic gearbox be it of any kind right so its job is to automatically shift gears right based on the throttle input and various other parameters it's basically you know the way you change your manual gears based on the speed and the rpm that you are at you know you have to you know shift gears right so if you start the car you have to be in first gear and then you know as and when you increase your speed you have to you know, keep changing gears so automatic does that job for you so be it of any kind doesn't matter the functionality is same right but the way it does differs in different gearboxes so what are different kinds of gearboxes okay so let's see so we have uh, at the below like the the cheapest technology of automatic gearbox are called amt which maruti and uh, you know even duster uses in its diesel variant so amt is automated manual transmission which is kind of a uh, manual only but internally using some computer it calculates the speed the rpm that you're going and then it shifts the the gears for you okay internally so that's amt it's a pretty cheap technology so cars with amt gearboxes are little cheaper than other gearbox technologies okay so second is called the cbt or continuous variable transmission so cbt gearboxes you can see only on the japanese car mostly uh, mostly but other car manufacturer also manufacturers also put the gearbox but more mainly i've seen japanese uh, uh, cars having that gearboxes if you say honda or other cars they use it very much okay even maruti is using it in balino and all right cvt is continuous variable transmission so they have like you know uh, what you say it's a the gear ratios right so gear ratios is like you know how many gears you have like what is the ratio of the gear okay so so in continuous variable transmission you have infinite number of gear ratios right so you don't have like only five gears or six gears or seven gears so you can have like you know based on the situation you can have like endless number of gears right so that is called cvt gearboxes cvt gearboxes are supposed to be very efficient gearboxes okay so cvt gearboxes can give you very very good uh, mileage figures right because they are very efficient in nature the way it is built it's it's supposed to be very efficient okay so you can get very very good mileage uh, if your car is having a cvt gearbox but on the flip side on the downside if you really like to drive a car you won't feel good driving a cvt gearbox okay because internally it uses a rubber to you know drive its mechanism right so cvt gearbox suffers something called a rubber band effects so what happens is if you just push the throttle very hard like if you are going in a some constant speed say 60 now you want to have a very uh, fast acceleration fast move right so if you want to move ahead of the traffic you just press the throttle hard so what you will notice in a cvt gearbox is your engine rpm will rise keep on rising and rising so engine will you know starts revving very hard okay the engine will starts making noises but your speed won't rise at the same time very li 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 linearly okay so that will notice so it's the same way say suppose you are driving an activa or any scooty right just twist the throttle so it will say but your speed won't rise it will take some time so that that is very frustrating So that is called a rubber band effect in a CVT gearbox. Okay, I don't like that gearbox at all. Okay, that's my personal choice. Okay, if you like it, of course, good for you. Okay, so now third gearbox is called a torque converter. So torque converter are supposed to be right. So torque converter is like you know what it does it it multiplies the torque of the engine using its gearbox. Of course, essentially all the gearbox does that, but the name itself suggests it multiplies the torque of the engine and then it sends that to rear or front wheel 
whatever your car is front wheel drive or rear wheel so torque converter is also a very good gearbox okay i think better than uh, cvt's so at normal speeds or if you are not in you know too much hurry and things like that okay if you don't like to drive your car as a like a sports car if you are gentle in the throttle so torque converter will you know work really well within the city or even on highways so if you have to be gentle on the throttle you don't have to like you know just push the throttle to the metal so then uh, torque converter gearbox are better so in technology wise even drive wise in uh, efficiency wise uh, i think it's better than cvt at least feel wise if you are really you know like to drive so in india uh, varna uses stock converter okay i am not sure which other cars use but varna definitely uses stock converter okay so stock converter technology is little costlier than uh, cvd technology so the next gear box is, are called dual clutch gear boxes so this particular vento that i am driving is equipped with that so there are two sets of clutches so one for the even gears and one for the odd gears so this dsg has seven gears okay so there are seven ratios so there are seven gears so there is a set of clutch for odd gears 1 3 5 Seven and there is a clutch set for even gears. Okay, two for six. So, and there is a mechanism or a computer which decides which clutch pack to select. Right. Since there are two different clutches to engage, because whenever a gear change, right, you have to engage. So, if, just think in a manual. How do you change a gear? You put the clutch, you press the clutch, and then change the gear. Right. Similar thing happens. in dsgs also or dual clutches also so the clutch needs to engage and disengage now dsgs or dual clutch gear boxes are supposed to be very fast in shape how it manages because of a two set of clutches right so so for changing from one to second so of course as i said for odd and even there are different clutch packs right so the dsg knows the way you are driving and it can pre select a gear for you and the shifts are quick because different clutch packs are involved when you are changing a gear the odd clutch pack and the even clutch pack right so it calculates the gear you want to be the next gear see now i am going going in a slow speed i am climbing a flyover so it's little climb so it knows i have to be in the same gear i don't want to no up shift to a next gear because it can sense okay So it will be in the same gear. Now, if you, you know keep pressing the throttle, it knows that okay, I want to go to a higher gear. Or if I you know just press the throttle very hard, so I have to make a good amount of progress. Then it will give me a downshift. It was it knows, and the gear shifts happen very quickly because of the two clutch packs. So that's the mechanism inside. Of course, that's more lot more complex, and I cannot just explain it in one video. But these are the main gear boxes. so mostly all the manufacturer uses one of these technologies in their automatic gear boxes okay. so these technologies have evolved a lot over the period okay so now this gear box is see earlier like you know few years ago in india at least i mean in other markets european and american I and mean, at least in american markets i think people you know stopped driving uh, manuals maybe up to 1980s or something if i'm not wrong right so for them car has to have a automatic gear box right so manuals i know only people who are enthusiastic like having a race cars and things like that they used to you know like manuals because uh, the feel is better like you have control of everything but over the period right the automatic technology has evolved a lot so these are automatic gearbox are very very efficient nowadays okay so of course it's very convenient so convenience is the first factor of owning or using an automatic right but they have become lot efficient right So you see, these automatic gear boxes are way better than your manual shifts. You have said right, these DSGs or these dual clutches are the shift far, far, far better than what you can do manually. So you won't believe at a speed of 40 or 50, it shifts to sixth gear. Okay, automatically. So of course, if you are in higher gear, your fuel efficiency or mileage will be always better. Everybody knows. but nobody will shift that right to fifth or sixth gear within the city of speed of 40 km but the gearbox does for you 
okay, to attain efficiency. Okay. So these are very efficient nowadays. So don't think that gearboxes and you know, automatic gearboxes are uh, not efficient. They will drink lot of fuel. It's not that. Okay, they, that they used to previously, but not now. So if you're in the market to buy an automatic uh, gearbox car, I think you should go for it. But it adds lot of convenience to your day-to-day -day driving. Okay, not only within the city but on the highways. Trust me, guys. I do a lot of highway trips, and it's really, really convenient because if you see Indian highways, right? They are like full of traffic. They are not like open stretch of roads always. Okay, so there are lot of convenience. I had lot of convenience to your driving. Okay, so go for it, man. Don't think like you know automatics are not good now. Nowadays, automatics are way better than your manual gearboxes. Okay. <coughs> in terms of drivability in terms of uh, efficiency everything it's okay so choose any car uh, with whatever gearboxes i just mentioned At end of the day you'll be happy uh, driving it on a day to day basis trust me okay so that is for uh, today that's what i wanted to talk to you guys and thanks for all the support that you're showing me over the videos i mean whatever good bad i'm i'm sure that whatever i'm talking may not be 100% correct but yeah to my knowledge whatever i read or i try to give you guys an insight of that of course i'll i'll try to you know make uh, my content uh, better and better in the days to come and thanks for all the support please do like my video and subscribe to my channel so that i can make these videos for you and you know put some knowledge on automobiles and cars in general thank you guys bye bye